All right, we are back for one more week with Dr. Maravalli. And I recently saw, I get the Franciscan Way, uh, that's the uh, alumni magazine that comes out to us. And I saw your picture on there and you're presenting Pope Francis um, with a spiritual bouquet of rosaries. I think maybe a thousand rosaries. Um, how did he receive that? And why is it so important uh, both to pray for our Pope and to be faithful to our, our Pope? You know, Mark, I, I was really struck by the humility of Pope Francis. He was, he was deeply moved by having young people mm. praying for him. And he, and he thanked me graciously and he humbly asked, please tell them to continue. So mm. both because the Vicar of Christ is Jesus on earth to us, that's what mm. we hold. And it's so critical for the faith and for a dynamic orthodoxy that we are obedient to the Holy Father. I mean, to think of a group of Catholics picking and choosing you know, what they're going to accept of the Holy Father, that's not the faith, and it's not mm. the response of the saints, mm. and it's not what the Second Vatican Council calls us to. So we've got to be obedient to the Holy Father. And then, like St. John Bosco says, who I know is one of the patrons of, of your movement, uh, you, you're inside the Catholic triangle, which is the Eucharist, our Blessed Mother, the Holy Father. If you're in that triangle, you're safe. Mm. Praise God. And there's a lot of uh, noise out there outside the church, but now inside the church mm -hmm. um, and from other shepherds as well. We won't get into that, but what does it look like for a lay person, you know, to just to break through all that noise and just the simplicity of the call of fidelity to the Holy Father? What, what does that look like for us? What are we called yeah. to in that fidelity? Yeah. Very practically, very concretely mm -hmm. on a daily basis, we obey the Vicar of Christ in every official proclamation that he makes in his ordinary magisterial teaching. Uh, it's not a personality issue. Mm. It's not a, an opinion issue. It's a fidelity issue. Mm. And this is at the heart of what it means to be Catholic. So I would say in general, it's probably good to pray more and blog less mm -hmm. and to exercise that type of beautiful obedience that the saints all reflect. Mm. They see in the office of Peter, the vicar of Christ. And I, and I think the more Marian we are, mm. the more disposed we are to, to be obedient to the Vicar of Christ, and that will ultimately be a reflection of our love of Jesus, because he's the one who established Peter for each one of us. And every faithful, dynamic Catholic should embrace it and have both an obedience and a respect for the Vicar of Christ. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. And I, I think another just piece of advice, even from my, I'm preaching to myself, instead of reading the headlines of what other people said the Pope said, or the one-liner, read the document. Or, or the whole homily. Um, and I think and w when we do that, we're gonna find a real depth of beauty um, and deep spirituality that is being brought forth to the church right now. It's absolutely true because there's a direction towards the marginalized, towards the poor, because there's a lot of prodigal sons out there. And to reach the prodigal sons, there's gotta be a new expression of mercy and love. And I would say, you know, if there's a difficulty with Jesus' choice of the pontiff. Maybe that's something you want to take up with Jesus when we meet him in heaven. Meanwhile, let's obey and let's be unified under the Vicar of Christ, under our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for that message. It's, we, we need to hear that more often. So, Thanks be to thank God. You, thank you. All right, thank you. We'll see you soon.